एट दी वेरी आउटसेट सर आई माइट सबमिट दैट आई हैव नो हेजिटेशन इन ऑफरिंग माई कॉन्ग्रेचुलेशन टू दी रेलवे मिनिस्टर फॉर दी गुड फाइनेंशियल पोजिशन ऑफ आवर रेलवेज एज इंडिकेटेड इन हिज स्पीच ऑन द रेलवे बजट फॉर द ईयर टू थाउजेंड नाइन टेन देयर हैज ऑल्सो बीन ए फॉल एज स्पीकर हैव मैंशनड बिफोर इन रेलवे गुड्स ट्रैफिक एंड इन इनकम फ्राम पैसेंजर ट्रैफिक द फॉल इन गुड्स ट्रैफिक has been attributed by the railway authorities to unfair competition from private operators of transport working on lines parallel to the railways and the passenger traffic decline has been attributed to natural economic conditions prevailing in the country in regard to the fall in goods traffic i agree that it is the concern of the railways to ensure that the income should not fall but it should be seen that they do nothing so that the private operators of transport who do a national service would go out of existence it is true that the private operators have been able to defy competition by the railways but it must have happened because the private operators have given economic and operational advantages which the railways could not give and i incline to say that if the railway authorities give the same advantages economic as well as operational i am sure that they will get back all the clients who have gone away from them i hope the railway authorities and the government would look into this matter in this view and do nothing so that the private operators go out of existence there is great need for these private operators and so i repeat that the railway authorities should think twice and should give their due attention before taking any wrong step that would drive these operators from their operations the fall in passenger traffic i hope is a temporary feature and i hope also that it will be all right when we recover from the conditions which we passed through last year the speech of the railway minister introducing the budget has been a very pleasant and good one there has been improvement in every sphere and activity of the railway administration the rolling stock has increased considerably and practically we have met all the demands in this respect i make a special mention of the engines and locomotives which come out of chitranjan workshop and telco workshop there has been increase of amenities to passengers which is evident every day when we travel on the railways the welfare of railway officers working in the railway administration has been considerable and all our thanks are due to the railway administration for this care of their officers this happy position should not however lead to a sense of complacency and undue safety on the part of the railway authorities the railway minister has already 
many problems which have defied solution up to date and he has to work hard and long for solving them i would only refer to overcrowding in trains failure of trains to travel in scheduled time increase in accidents ticketless traveling in sanitary condition of rest houses for lower class passengers and poor quality of food as regards overcrowding in trains it is plain to everybody who goes by train that there is overcrowding today everywhere this is specially noticed in sub urban trains sites of passengers hanging on whatever support is available in the trains or traveling on footboards are not rare and during the holiday season and on special occasions the roofs of trains are also taken into service i know that some passengers take to these dangerous modes of traveling to avoid payment but it can be safely said that these would disappear if there was no overcrowding i referred to amenities to passengers provided by the railway administrations but they do lose their value when we see the travelers being huddled together in conditions which are more fit for animals than human beings i hope this question which is of very great importance to the railways should be seriously looked into by the honorable railway minister the failure of trains in reaching at the scheduled time is a matter which has been more than once before the house and elsewhere and when the railway minister tried to explain the situation there were peals of laughter which showed that the minister had not satisfied us i would not like to speak much on it but this also be attended to seriously and the sooner it is done the better the railway accidents have increased which is most unfortunate i know that the railway authorities do realize the importance and gravity of this question and are trying to consider the matter seriously from a three pronged attack namely psychological educative and punitive